Let's see how we can install Putty and connect to a server using SSH. First, go to your Google and type download Putty. And this first link from putty.org. Here you can see a bunch of options. Click on this first one that says download Putty. Now there are a bunch of options here. What you need to do is you need to download the one that is suitable for you. Press Windows R and type MS Info 32. Now this will open up as you can go down and come to this system type section and you will see x64 based PC. So it means my system is the first one. Now if you are using ARM, it will show ARM 64 based PC. So I click on x86 and the downloading has started. Once the download is complete, you just open this file or go to the folder and then open it file. I just click on this open file. Now this is the installation wizard. Click next and this is where your putty will be installed inside C drive. Click next again and no need to change these things. Click next again and your installation is starting. If there's a dialog box asking do you want to install or not, just press on yes. Now you can uncheck this, click finish and your putty is successfully installed. Now press the windows key and type putty and you can see this is installed. Now let's see how we can connect to a server using SSH. Click on this. Here you have host name, port and this stuff. Now let's connect to a host. Enter your host name or host IP here. This is the default port. If your server provider has not given you a specific port, so leave it to 22. But I have given this port and click open. You might see this dialog. If you see this, just press accept. And now you need to enter the username and password of the SSH user. So I'll write root and the password is as you can see I am inside the server 